Hello everyone. Continuing from the last session, where we already covered the above two topics of chapter one large numbers, in this video we will be focusing on these two topics. Let's start our first topic, expanded form. Expand means to stretch, to elaborate. Writing a number as the sum of the place values of its digits is called the expanded form of that number which means when we expand or stretch a number to show the value of each digit we are writing that number in expanded form let's have a look at an example write the expanded form of 32 lakh 60458 for writing the number in expanded form, first we write it in the place value chart. Now, write the place value of each digit. Place value of 3 lakhs is 30 lakh. 3 10 lakhs is 30 lakh. 2 lakhs is 2 lakh. 6 10 thousands is 60 thousand. 0 thousands is 0 and so on. Always remember that the place value of 0 is always 0. It may hold any place in a number. Here, the expanded form is 30 lakh plus 2 lakh plus 60,000 plus 0 plus 400 plus 50 plus 8. So, when we add the place values of all the digits of the number, we get its expanded form. So our next topic is standard form or short form. Writing a number in its original form is called the standard form of that number. That means when we shrink the expanded form which is stretched form of a number we get its original form that is standard form. There are two ways of finding standard form. First is the standard form of a number is given by adding the expanded form of a number. Let's have a look at an example. Write the expanded form of 40,000 plus 300 plus 20. If we simply add the numbers, we get 40,320, which is standard form of the number. So the second way is by combining the face value of each digit at the correct place. Let's have a look, look at an example. Write the standard form of 30 lakh plus 2 lakh plus 60,000 plus 0 plus 400 plus 50 plus 8. Let's write this expanded form in place value chart. Here face value of 3 10 lakhs is 3, 2 lakhs is 2, 6 10 thousands is 6, 0 thousands is 0. So, when we combine these face values, we get 32 lakh 60 thousand 458 as standard form. Let's move to our next topic, which is comparing numbers. Compare means to examine the differences between numbers, to decide if it is greater than, smaller than or equal to another number. The number with more digits is greater. This is very simple and easy to understand. Let's understand this with the help of an example. The cost of motorbike is rupees 55,000. And the cost of car is rupees 2,58,000. So here we have to compare the cost of the vehicles. In this example, 55,000 has 5 digits. 2,58,000 has 6 digits. So 6 digits are greater than 5 digits. So if two numbers have different number of digits, then the number with more digits is greater. So we conclude that 
55,000 is smaller than 258,000. So here car is expensive than motorbike. When the number of digits is same in two numbers, we start comparing from the highest place that is extreme left place to the next or lower places. If the digits are same at a place, we move to the next digit from the left. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Mount Everest is 29,030 feet high and Kanchenjunga is 28,170 feet high. Here we have to compare the height of mountains. First of all, Let's check number of digits in 29,030 and 28,170. So 29,030 has 5 digits and 28,170 also has 5 digits. So to compare numbers having the same number of digits, always start from the leftmost place which is 10,000th place. And we have same digit which is 2 at 10 thousandths place in both the numbers. So if the numbers are same at leftmost digit then compare the next place which is thousandths place. In 29,039 is at thousandths place. And in 28,178 is at thousands place. And 9 is greater than 8. So we conclude that 29,030 is greater than 28,170. Hence, Mount Everest is higher than Kanchenjunga. So our last topic for today is ascending and descending order. Ascending order is the same as increasing order where numbers are arranged from smallest to greatest. Descending order is the same as decreasing order where numbers are arranged from greatest to smallest. Let's have a look at an example. Write these numbers in ascending and descending order. First of all, we have to write these numbers in place value chart. Here, we observe that all numbers have same digits, which is 5. Let's start comparing from leftmost place, which is 10,000th place. The digit at 10,000 place is 6, which is same in all the numbers. Now, we have to compare the next place, which is 1000th place. In 1000th place, we have different numbers, 3, 2, 5 and 1. So, we can compare now. So, here 1 is smallest and 5 is greatest. That means, 65,321 is greatest and 61,235 is smallest number. For writing ascending order, we have to arrange them in increasing order, smallest to greatest. Out of these four numbers, smallest number is 61,235. In ascending order, we write this number first. So out of these three numbers now, 62,531 is smallest. So we write 62,531 in second place. From remaining numbers, 68,251 is smaller. So we write 63,251 at third place. And now we get the greatest number which is 65,321. 
and we will write this number at fourth place. This is how we write ascending order. Descending order is opposite to ascending order and vice versa. In descending order, we will arrange the numbers in decreasing order, greatest to smallest. This is how we write descending order. I have uploaded a worksheet related to the covered topics. Please do the worksheet and keep on practicing. Thank you. Let's continue in next session.